Aditya was planned for 2008 itself for going into a near earth orbit that means it is called eo leo they will say very near something like 800 kilometers around the earth it will go around the earth and then keep looking at sun and give data chandrayaan of course it has to go to moon and then first one was just going on chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 was an attempted land landing which was not completed now the chandrayaan 3 we have done it now this one is a part of it is not one and two before probably this could have gone a little earlier also one doesn't know depends upon what the various schedule testing and everything because so many payloads are there so many things are there so main thing is isro isro is having a a plan for space exploration for quite some time and more than 15 years having established first isro's priorities were applications that is telephony television then all this weather related that is weather cyclone seeing doing how, how much rain will come etc etc especially on cyclone then on the uh, earth's resources like forestry water soil other geological things like minerals etc those that is a continuously going on having achieved all those then it started doing on the navigation side also which is which we call as gps you know like that's india's own gps also they are attempting but at the same time isro also has to take up further challenges of interplanetary mission which was there right from the beginning the starting of the indian space program was on space research in fact i joined the cosmic race at that time many of these things were done but from ground calculation and things like that then in 1957 with the arrival of the satellites when it came it adds a great amount to look at the planetary system 